so many mothers uh, in my audience have said to please ask you this question. <laughs> Sometime I'll look back at the footage and I'll go, and I'll go, did I do that? Can you understand why people would worry about that? Because they're ignorant. Michael Jackson is one of the most famous entertainers of all time, but he was definitely known for his controversies. One in particular was pretty weird when you stop and think about it. Yeah, but I don't like that. I don't like it either, but you know. That's right, I'm talking about the dance move where he grabs himself. You'd seen him do it a million times, but why did he do it? Why should he be wearing? Who's the criminal? And was there a dark, creepy side to it that we all missed? This is a guy trying to help heal a child. Of all the things Michael was known for, whether it was songs or his fame or wealth or outfits or the controversy that surrounded him, the one that translated to all languages around the world was dance. If someone is doing a Michael Jackson impression, they're probably going to start with one of his dance moves. He started out as a cute kid in the family band, but then years later, he wanted to be taken more seriously. And that's when his dance moves really became iconic, but also controversial. We think you, you know, got a thing with your crotch going. I I think for years, people have questioned where this risque dance move came from. No one had ever seen anything like it. And when he performed at the 1993 Super Bowl, he couldn't stop doing it. And the world went crazy. Fans offered theories about why this had become his iconic dance move. Some people thought that he was just trying to be vulgar to catch everyone's attention, which he did, but others thought that he was rebelling against his dad and famous family. The Jackson family was notorious for being Jehovah's Witnesses, and Jehovah's Witnesses aren't allowed to do a lot of things. They are allowed to dance, but not as provocatively as Michael became known for dancing. But finally, years after all the speculation began, Michael Michael finally revealed why he does this bizarre dance move, and the real reason why isn't what you're expecting at all. It's the music that compels me to do it. You would think the reason behind the dance move was to be controversial, right? Michael's career became known for his controversies, but the real reason was actually completely different. It was actually completely unintentional. Michael actually had no idea that he was even doing it. He claimed that it wasn't something that he was even aware of. The music would simply take over him, and he'd be so in the moment that he would just do the dance move without even realizing that he was doing it. And he even said that he would watch back videos of his performances and be completely shocked. There would be moments where he thought that he was just performing as normal, only to find out that there were tons of times where he grabbed his crotch. It such a frequent thing for him that it became his signature dance move, and he had no idea that he was even doing it most of the time. Allegedly, at least that's always the story that he told. Obviously, we have no way of confirming his story now, but when you think about it, there might be some some truth to the fan theories about the dance move. Think about it, Michael could say that it wasn't intentional, all he wanted, but we know that his career got pretty suggestive as he got older. He knew that being a little provocative as a performer was a great way to get the crowd excited and energized. As he got older, his outfits got wilder too. He particularly became known for wearing a large shiny belt that went around his waist and over his crotch area. People referred to it as his chastity belt, and it wasn't the last time that he wore something like that. Michael was also seen wearing an outfit made up on flashy gold fencing gear that also really highlighted that area. But then on his history tour in 1996, he took it to a whole other level. Michael had a golden suit that was so iconic, it created its own fan base with Michael's fans. The pants of the suit stuck tightly to his body and brought a lot of attention to his crotch. It seems like he had a lot of deliberate choices to draw attention to the area. So even though he said that the dance move wasn't on purpose, it seemed seems like a lot of his other suggestive choices were most definitely on purpose. And even though he denied it, people close to him claim that all of his choices were intentional. Karen Fay, Michael's longtime makeup artist, said that he started becoming more provocative with his style of dress and dance move, particularly grabbing his crotch. And she claims that it was because of his association with the Jehovah's Witnesses. She said that he started making the choices after he was forced to leave the church because his career had become so controversial that they asked him to choose the church or his music career, and he obviously chose music. But when he chose music over his religion, it didn't end there. He started making 
all of those extremely suggestive career moves simply because he wanted to rebel against the religion that had turned their backs on him. But again, this is all coming from someone who knew Michael, not actually Michael himself, who claimed that it wasn't on purpose. There was also another side to the crotch grabbing and over-sexualized dance moves. Michael had been called out by the media for years as being asexual or gay. He had even been accused of having relationships with children, an accusation that looms over his legacy to this day. By creating a big controversial stage presence and reacting so over the top to the touch of a woman, he may have been trying to stop any rumors. He may have been overcompensating to force a different narrative on the world. Michael's private life left a lot of room for speculation, so it feels like he was using his public life to set the record straight. But it goes deeper than that. In a 1993 interview, Michael said that he's always felt the most comfortable on stage. Everything from thrusting his hips to screaming or sticking out his tongue and even the crotch grab are all extensions of that comfort. Almost like he's up there performing in a lucid state where he doesn't have to overanalyze anything and can just be his full and true self. Whether it's tearing his clothes or rubbing his body, it was like he was all alone dancing in his bedroom only in front of 10 tens of thousands of screaming fans. Michael Bush, Michael's wardrobe personnel, on all of his tours shared some insight. He said that Michael's mood on stage would often directly dictate the costume choices, particularly how big the tear on his vest would be, so when he ripped it off, it would dictate how much he showed the crowd. According to Bush, Michael said that he was just giving the people what they wanted. Michael said that his job as an entertainer is to impress the men and make love to the women. I guess that's what he thought all the attention was doing. Oprah wasn't shy about asking Michael about it during a 1993 interview on a show. She just asked why he does the crotch grabbing thing since a lot of mothers who take their kids to the shows have wondered if it's really necessary. Michael said that when he's up there, he's just interpreting the music. His body is moving as an accompaniment and if he grabs himself, it's because the music compels him to do it. He said he's a slave to the rhythm. We might never know all the reasons for the crotch grab, but people will probably be doing it until the end of time thanks to Michael's legacy. So what do you guys think? Is the crotch grab a normal dance move to do? Was Michael just feeling the music when he was feeling himself? What's the most iconic Michael Jackson song? Let me know in the comments below.